Welcome back guys. Fall weather, where are you? It has not been nice and cool like we were expecting. I'm not too happy about it. Yeah, it's hot and muggy and disgusting and uh, yeah. Doesn't seem to be able to make its mind up um, and neither can we. We have been kind of indecisive about exactly where we want to put the stairs in the house. So the thing that's kind of been tough for us with this house build is it's not one complete house being built all at once. We're doing it in stages. So we have this first A-frame part of the house that we want to be completely functional mm -hmm. for all of us to have sleeping areas and obviously a way to get up to the loft. Um, but, you know, this isn't the complete house. The, the rest of the house is being built on to the backside as we go on. So yes. where we want the stairs has kind of been an ongoing discussion. Our uh, original idea, as you guys know, was to have them right here behind us. This was kind of going to be a stairwell. Before it, a metal spiral a, yes, staircase. A spiral staircase to get up to the loft. And then we decided it would be really nice for Ellie to have her own little space where she can have her bed and where we can also keep the mm -hmm. toys out of the great room. So then where could we move the stairs to? So our next idea was over here right in this area. This is the front new dormer area that you guys have seen us building. And we're going to have a stairwell come up. It was going to turn out this way, walk up, a little landing come up, and we're going to do another landing right here, build a wall, and have this thing walk over into the loft. But after further discussion, didn't like the idea. We didn't want to take away from the nice railing going up and putting stairs in the middle of areas. We actually want to do a uh, wood stove right here in this location. So we decided that the best thing for us to do would be to put something less permanent here, like a ship's ladder for the mm -hmm. boys to get up to the loft and put the stairs permanently in the opposite side of the house that we're going to be building on next, rather than just trying to put a stairwell in here just to have one and have to make it fit in some sort of way that we would not be happy with long term. So eventually, we're going to put the new stairwell is right where the back door is. That's going to be a door or a hallway yes. going to the new portion of the house. And we'll have a stairwell in that back area where it's going to come through the window yeah. on the back window of the house going through the loft and that will be the entrance to the loft once the other portion of this house is finished. It sounds kind of confusing that the loft that's that you guys see right now, I mean you can't see it on screen, but it has a window in it that is going to come out and that's just going to be a doorway to yes. the backside of the house, which has been the plan because we are going to have to take that window out anyways. That's why it's, you know, we said it was a temporary window when we put it in. Yep. So that's going to come out and be stairs that comes down to the back side of the house. This door right here is going to be a hallway that connects the house to the bedroom wing. wing. And also to get to the garage and that sort of oh, thing. Oh, good stuff. So all of that, long <laughs> story. It's a take game, but go ahead. When we basically could have told you that what we decided to do is put a temporary ship's ladder in here for the boys to access their room in the loft and uh, the stairs are permanently going to be in the back side of the house. So we're not gonna build those until we've built the back side of the house on. Yes, so what's the plan for today then? What so the nice thing about that is that that takes something off of our list. Yes. And, and that means that we can kind of fast forward a little bit and jump right to the platform for the wood stove, which is exciting. Yep, so we have, we're building the platform. We're gonna do stone going up the, the back side where the wood stove is. We've gotta cut a hole in the roof. We gotta frame some stuff up. Do some uh, cement board, got a whole big list of stuff to do to get a wood stove in here so we are warm this winter while we're working. Yes, and this is going to not be our primary source of heat for no. the house. Um, ultimately, we're going to have the outdoor wood burning um, furnace, furnace yep. that is going to go through the radiant heat in the floors. It's also going to heat the solar shed, um, but this is kind of a backup heat situation. Yeah, so with the wood furnace, um, we're actually doing uh, radiant heat floors. So it take, it's not like I can start a fire, turn a switch, and instantly the house is warm. It takes hours and hours for the floors to heat up and have, have it heat the entire house. So if it gets cold, um, we didn't plan, I guess, enough ahead to get the fire going. We'll have a backup wood stove up front. We can make a fire real quick. Within the next hour, hour and a half, we're burning, we're nice and hot, and warm and cozy inside the house. While the wood furnace is actually heating the floors up for the next few hours. Yep. So that's the plan. We're getting started on the platform. All right, let's go. If you want to know anything about Ellie, she is superheroes, unicorns, 
bunny rabbits, and construction vehicles. Right? All right, girls, go to the house and get to work. All right, Daddy. We added a couple floor joists underneath where the wood stove is going to be sitting real quick. Got them all nailed in. There's going to be a lot of weight there on the floor between the stove itself and then also all of the stone on the platform and the wall behind it. So we wanted to be sure that it was properly supported or as Josh likes to say, make sure it has, you know, a good oomph. A good amount of oomph. Okay. Just so it's strong enough, that's all. Should be fine. Cool. 45 inches. Good enough. Okay, so. Jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. What? This is wrong. That's uh, better. Yeah, okay. That's what I gotta deal with, guys, you know? Go. What we got? <laughs> okay, so uh, this is our mock up yep. of the wood stove based upon the actual dimensions of the wood stove that we're really going to be buying. Yes. So this is going to allow us to be sure that we have the proper placement of the wood stove, the uh, clearances, clearances from walls. All the stuff, yep and for the pipe and all of that sort of thing. So that's what we're using this for. Yeah, so I guess uh, the wood stove we're getting requires a minimum of 14 inches of clearance on the back and the side. So says the manufacturer's instructions. Yeah. So we got the placement for that. So now we're gonna go ahead and build a platform, correct? Yes. So the platform is gonna be, it's gonna be off the ground about four inches, I imagine. And it's gonna have slate floor and slate goes up the wall. So yeah. once we get that bad boy built, we're gonna have Erin take a few dances, a few jumps back and forth, because that stove does weigh 550 pounds. So she hops three or four times and it holds. We're in the clear, we can put that there. That 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 thing is strong enough and sturdy enough for Erin. So yes. we're good to go. And don't worry guys, Josh was sure to take into account for the size of a platform that he does have enough space to do his uh, you know little jester dances that he likes to do. So <laughs> then. He acts like he's not gonna get up there and dance on it. We all know he is. <laughs> we'll see, never know. we messed up a little bit we didn't want this lined up with the wall you can see this last guy right here is lined up with the wall but once we actually put the stone on it it would actually be hanging out past the ball which we don't want because obviously the kids and the rest of us are all gonna be stubbing our toes on it then so um, what we're going to do is just cut it off real quick and suck it back in that's what we planned on doing when we laid this out but then we got sidetracked and we messed up and we lined it up with the wall even though we didn't intend to do that so Fix it real quick and we'll be back on track. I hate when I screw up like that. I thought about doing this two or three different times and uh, we got in a rush to put it down, weren't paying attention and nailed in and uh, messed up. No big deal. Five minutes later, it's fixed.
<laughs> so we had a little bit of an intermission there. We had to uh, family fun. Family fun. Fireworks, cooking out, all the good stuff. That's right. Doing all the things, enjoying it. <laughs> A little party time with the kids. It can't be uh, all work and no play around here, you know? No. Like I said, that makes Josh a dull boy. It does. So, yeah. have some fun. Guys, what are we getting ready to do? Fireworks! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah! Hey, it's dark outside. It is dark outside. Do you want to do some sparklers? Yes. It's the moon. I see the moon. Are you excited? And we will do fireworks. Yay! <laughs> that much fun Josh in West Virginia it is <laughs> it's not July 4th it's the 1st of October I think and uh, yeah anytime's a good time for fun right guys I enjoy it and I mean come on how fun is it hearing the kids laugh and scream like that was that awesome it is <laughs> Especially Ellie. she loved it I know she's adorable <laughs> Don't worry. so what's next well now Josh is ready to slap his apron back on and get back to work Okay, see, I bought a, a brand, so it's a, it's a nail apron is what it is. Carhartt makes, if you guys are in construction, do what I do, y'all wear them. A right. lot of electricians I know wear them, I wear them. Right. But it's an apron that we can get made fun of the entire day for it. Yeah. It came in the mail, so. Next up, he's gonna come out with a sheet of cookies. That's a hatman. <laughs> you're, you're the homemaker here, you know what I mean? I'm the builder, slash, whatever. I might be the homemaker, but now you look like the homemaker. <laughs> Chef has already picked out his spot for his bed right next to the fireplace. You could be warm this winter, Chucky. I'm gonna give Chuck the best spot in the house next to the fireplace because you love him so much. Are you gonna make him his own hot cocoa? I was thinking about uh, putting you downstairs and putting him in bed with me. So I was thinking about doing. Chuck doesn't want to sleep under the house with you, Josh. No, okay? no, no, no. Get it together. <laughs> right, what you got, girl? Forty-five and a quarter. Ah, uh, good. Think about it, Aaron. The tag on this thing says it's a medium to small to medium, and look, you know, it's tied up all the way too, and it's almost a little too big. So you're a women's small to medium. <laughs> How is that? Ah, uh, yeah. And shoe size kids. <laughs> See, make fun of the apron now. What? What? Scooch it. Scooch it. We just put cement board up here on the wall that is going to be directly behind the wood stove. So now that we've got that up, we're gonna do the same thing on the platform, cover that in cement board. And eventually, I think we're picturing putting slate everywhere where the cement board is at, right? Correct. Would you agree? 
We're gonna go ahead and slate the entire thing, platform and wall. We're using the cement board versus sheetrock. Uh, cement board is not combustible compared to the sheetrock. Even though we do have the clearance, it gives us a better feeling inside to have that back there. We're gonna go ahead and put the uh, slate on that and uh, be done. You ready, girl? platform is all good to go. It looks great where it's at. We're really pleased with it. It took us a while to figure out the exact location that we wanted it at. We were also thinking of putting it back here, kind of catty cornered by the door. But once we laid out the actual dimensions of the stove that we're getting, it would have impeded the walkway. So we scrapped that idea. We moved it around a couple more times with our mock-up before we finally settled on this place where it's currently at. The nice thing with the location of where it's sitting at is where I'm at right now, we're gonna have a couch and we can still enjoy the fire. It's pretty much dead center of the house. It's off a few feet, but it's pretty close to being the center of the house. So the heat will radiate around the house and keep us warm on those cold days. So it was a quick project. And the kind of funny thing about this project is something little like this actually makes it feel a lot more homey in here. It feels like you're getting closer to the end is what it feels like. It does. So it feels more like a house having that in there. I mean, even though it's still bare bones yeah. and we're still without nothing in here, <laughs> but it feels like we're getting, Inch by inch, we're getting close to the way it feels, so it's, it's, it's definitely a good feeling. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. It's nice. Yep, so where the stove's sitting at right now, we're actually going to come out of the top. Obviously, the stove pipe is going to offset over and go straight out that roof right there. Yes. What else we got coming up in the future out here? What well, we doing? next week we have the machine and also the metal arriving. Yep. I know that we uh, talked last time about how we're trying to get that all done in one swift swoop rather than risk of being up there without the machine to, to wrap it and whatnot. So we're going to wrap the house and get the metal on. And other than that, we're inside doing interior work, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah, we need those windows to get here. We do. That's we, killing us. Yeah, yeah. We're in a bit of a bind waiting on timing with the uh, windows. The windows, but we're gonna try and just work around it and start in mm -hmm. areas of the house that uh, we don't, like, or that the windows are already installed, like the, the back mudroom mm -hmm. portion where we already have that dormer window in this kitchen, we've got that dormer window in there. So that sort of things. Um, once the windows are in here, then we do have a little exterior work to do, right? Some good yeah. old show shuggy bond. I know you guys like that word, don't you? <sighs> you know, I'm, I'm tired of doing that. I'm not gonna lie, I hate it. Yeah. Yeah. Every second of it, I'm tired, I'm done. I know. It's what it is though. It is, yeah. it's what it is. So it's exciting, we're getting closer. Yep, and that's it, right? What else we got, yep. nothing else. That's it, thanks for watching yep. guys. All right guys, see ya, thanks.